Well, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm gonna try and keep this intro short and sweet, but I did not do a lot of intros and outros on this trip. So I'm just gonna give a little bit of context as to what you're about to see over the next four videos here on the channel. So as most of you guys know, uh, even though I have lived in Kansas for the last 20 some odd years, I am originally from Wisconsin and I take a annual trip twice a year in April or late March and uh, August back up to Green Bay for big, big walleyes. And that's exactly what you're about to see here. I was up there for five days and filmed for four. First day, we just took a little bit of time to uh, kind of feel everything out because this was a weird, weird year for the Bay of Green Bay. Uh, temps got super warm, super quick, which kind of pushed the, uh, the spawn along a lot faster than normal. So a lot of the fish in the next uh, four videos you're gonna see are post spawners where in the last three or four years that I've been doing these videos, all pretty much pre-spawners. But if there's any one good thing about the post-spawn bite you're dealing with, uh, very hungry fish and a lot of them, the problem is, is that a lot of them are concentrated in the river mouse or right outside of the river mouse. So a lot of the areas that we fished in years past uh, are just not panning out yet because a lot of those fish are still close to the, uh, the mouth of the tributaries on the West Shore Green Bay. Don't want to drag this out too much longer, uh, but this is our second full day on the bay have three more videos coming at you that are gonna be really, really fun. But in this video, uh, super nice weather, very bitey fish. We're gonna be catching them on my two favorite baits to catch them on, rip and wraps and uh, hair jigs. So hope you guys enjoy the footage. We'll see you back here at the end of the video for a little bit of a uh, recap. That guy's got a big one on. Got one. Rip and rip. Yep. Nice one. Dude, he's got it choked. Choked. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Number one. That one hit it on the fall, too. Oh, rip and rip fish. That was my first cast with this. On the custom painted, custom paint from North Shore. Just a little guy. It's a good way to start the morning though, especially on a rip and wrap. Whew. All right, see you girl. And there it is. Number six, custom painted, rip and wrap. Got that perch pattern with the scales. Super good. Hit it on the fall. We love that. Nice, good fish, good fish. That's big, buddy. It's, it's chesty. Coming. Yeah. He just popped off onto the stinger hook. Oh, <laughs> oh, is that hair? There's a cast with it. This might be a better fish. Yeah, there's your leader. I think he's just mad. Long, grumpy one. You can go. If you want to walk, you can walk. I don't think we have enough rods sprawled across the back deck in the worst place. I got a mess back here. Here we go. I think she is just mad is all it is. Yeah. And hooked weird too. That was that stamp, yeah, popping off. kind of pop. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yep. Skinny mini. Skinny mini, bro. Don't forget to show her to the folks at home back there. Nice. Well, one for a rip and wrap, one for hair. Nice work. Just a little torpedo. Nice work.
fish. Nice. Jigging or uh, ripping her. That's big too. You gonna get the scoop? Yeah. It's a good thing that my chest camera is not working, but at least we got this one in the back one. It's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right in the bottom of her chin. Lift it up and just wait. Okay, ready? Oh, she ain't. Let's do it. She wants to come off really bad. Okay, take her. Uh. Nice, off in the net too. <laughs> <laughs> Just another big male or another postponed female. Perfect, perfect, perfect fish. Not the super, super giant we're looking for, but we're getting the bites we need. Right, I'm also being really quiet because there's a million boats over here. Fish. Oh, I saw you pull them off the bottom. <laughs> Oh, it's just another cookie cutter. I got him. Got him. Okay. We did just pluck her right off the bottom, too. Oh. Real, Real hot girl shit. There's the bait. Perfect. Love that. Just wish she had about, mm, I don't know, six more pounds on her. <laughs> Freshly post spawned. She's still got a pretty funny looking vent, vent hole. We'll call it a vent hole. Today is significantly more fun um, than it was yesterday. One last look. I don't know, probably 22. Goofy looking thing. She is beat up. All right. See you, girl. Get a real meal. Fish. Nice. He's small. Small? Maybe. I don't know. Unless he's just swimming. I get him. I don't even want, just don't even grab the net. I will get him. He's barely, barely hooked. So in case he comes off, here's your long look at him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Rip and wrap in the face, in the face. Oh great. Now we got two people hooked. For a guy who's barely hooked, you're sure in there good. See, just a good one. She's ready to go. Okay, bye. Open right up and so did the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was just marking so many on the screen. I'm over here fucking with socks. Better fish, huh? Shallow. Seven, eight. Nine, well, yeah, we slid out yet. Oh, yeah. Pounding them on the rip and wrap. Favorite, favorite, favorite way. They're all the same fish. Super, super bummed. And she's off. The classic, off in the net. It's all literally the same, same ones, but man, that's fun. No hard bites though. My very first fish was that thunk, but everyone since then just mush. 
mushies. Oh fuck, <laughs> are you shitting me? <laughs> Did anybody else on camera see that? You can't do that to me, DJ. <laughs> How are you just gonna go like sneakily setting the hook? Man, that fish would have been so cool uh, pre-spawn. I went rogue on you. Man. Look at the fucking piss missile. Show the folks at home. Nice fish. I was like, what's that noise? Oh, it's just DJ catching a fish. 23 and a half inches, I'll give it. Fish. Pitched it right at him, right at him. And I got him. Life scope's cheating. Wow, wow, wow. That was a neato bite. It was a neato bite. Neato, bud. I saw a little pod. I pitched second, third pump. Pump, pump, pump. Just switched colors. To the little sour grape. Thank you, sir. We love sour grape around these parts. There. Just another cookie cutter post spawn female or big male. I don't even know. They're all mixed in together, so I'm not mad. Not mad at all. Okay, go. Got one. Fish on? Yeah. First cast. Yeah. Yep. No, rip and wrap. Dude, he cranked it too. Cranked it. Where's that rip and wrap, DJ? <laughs> get the go get him. <sighs> that was neat. How about that net job, son? That was neat. That was cool. Good job. First team of heat, huh? Saw pod on side imaging. Caught a fish. First cast. It's a nice one too. Probably the biggest one of the day. All right, well that was the worst possible net situation ever, but we got her out. Just came to the mouth of the river, marked a bunch of fish, and uh, got that first one to go. So we like that. All right, beauty, beauty, beauty walleye. Going back. Bye. Fish on. Fish on. Uh oh. That bait never hit the bottom, DJ. Are you never hit the bottom. This one's big. I ain't doing shit, bro. Here, I'll I'll take care of it. Just cast literally straight straight over. As soon as I get this fish out of the way. 
big one. Yeah. All right. You got it. I forget that we're at the mouth of the river and everything feels big in the current, but I still think that this one's big. Oh yeah, nice one. Not even as big as the last one. That, I'm serious, that bait never even hit the bottom. Oh, pound town. Long, long dong. Not a giant, but we like it. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed a lot of that footage. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more structure as far as what we were doing, how we were doing it, talking about tackle techniques, what, what have you. But when I go up to Green Bay for a week uh, early in the season like this, that's my one week out of the year to not have to worry about guiding or answering to anyone or taking care of anybody except for myself. So I was just wanting to get out there and fish throw the cameras up and then worry about the rest later. So in the meantime, let's talk tackle. First crowd favorite from this video, a Green Bay staple. This is a 3A sounds hair jig. This one was actually tied by my late great buddy, Aaron Mick. His father-in-law, Roger, who I actually fish with in the following video, tied me up a bunch of these fresh ones um, for this trip. So we've got that staple right there, the black and purple, and obviously we've got the number eight stinger on that one. And then we threw a lot of Aaron's favorite, the kind of root beer with a little orange and that gold head. These are clam tungsten jigs, again, custom tied, super fun to tie. I think it's something I'm gonna learn how to do. So that was obviously bait number one. And then my personal favorite, and you guys are gonna see a lot of these in the next three videos, but the number six Rapala Rip and Wrap. I have a ton of these, but again, anything purple, and gold uh, is obviously money on the bay. These hooks are super sticky sharp and it's in my thumbnail right now, but pretty much all the rip and wraps that I have in this just in case box are all custom painted uh, by North Shore Bait Company up in Ocano. If you guys have not seen any of this stuff from uh, Paul Lucas up in Ocano at North Shore, please go check that out. I will also link that in the description below. But like I said, this is not the last video that you're gonna see a lot of rip and wrap footage in. So from there, as far as rod choices go, we were throwing the rip and wraps on the 7.2 medium extra fast from Kate Outdoors. Amazing, amazing all around kind of bread and butter rod. This is the regular 7.2 medium extra fast, but Kurt does make one uh, that I was throwing that even though it's a medium action rod, it has a little bit softer tip, which really plays well with those rip and wraps and uh, those big fat treble hooks. But like you guys have seen before, uh, with Kurt being a custom rod maker based out of Wisconsin, you guys can customize these rods however you want. I've got another 7.2 medium extra fast with a split grip. Um, you can change the colors on the guides. I think that's kind of something that's a little bit extra for most guys, but for 230 bucks, you've got all the options you could possibly want. And then for hair jigs, 7.2 medium light, fast action from Cade right here. Um, he is actually working on a 7.3 medium light extra fast. We're gonna call it the mix stick that Aaron Mick and Kurt were working on. So I'm really, really excited about that one too. And on this one, I've got the split grip. Just gives it a little bit more better balance and obviously makes it lighter. And then as far as real, uh, for hair jigs, I'm actually throwing the 3000 size Carbon X 2 from PC Fun. I really like having that bigger spool with those lighter hair jigs. You can really get a good long cast out away from the boat, especially with the 10 pound braid, 10 pound suffix 832, two way 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. Very, very important stuff. But otherwise, again, just bread and butter spinning setups for me, same as I use down in Kansas. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a tackle recap since uh, like you'll see in these next three videos throughout the series here, I don't do a lot of talking about a lot of stuff except for catching a bunch of walleyes and that's all this trip means to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to the next three videos. We will see you back up in Ocano for the next one.